Hello, Clear Connections community. Dr. Sean Medlin here. I want to talk to you today briefly about ear infections and plumbing. I know it sounds like the two don't relate very well. However, I was just speaking with a friend of mine and he was talking about how his daughter had ear infections and I used this really simple analogy of why ear infections keep happening and for their personal story and many others in the Grand Rapids community, we go to the primary and we get antibiotics. We go to the pediatrician and we get antibiotics and that takes care of the, the infection, but not why the infection is happening in the first place. And so the analogy I used was a plumber. So if we have ENT, ears, nose, throat, if that is getting clogged, clubbed, plugged, kind of like drainage, kind of like plumbing, stagnant water, we're always taught not to drink it, right? Because that is a breeding ground for infection and bacteria and bad things. Well, if we are getting clogged in the ears, nose, and throat, then those fluids become stagnant and that is a environment where infection can thrive. And so my buddy who I was talking to with this about the plumbing and the ear infections said, okay, so how do you unclog it? How do you um, get everything moving? So the chiropractic adjustment is one of the most powerful ways that you can get that plumbing moving again. And so C1 specifically controls eyes, nose, throat. If there's stress built up in the nervous system, then everything's not gonna be moving as well. We have a recent story of my little buddy. He's absolutely phenomenal. Um, he got four ear infections in a row. And the last one they put him on an antibiotic that didn't work and then they gave him another antibiotic. And so they were just nuking his body and his gut with all these antibiotics. Since he started care five months ago, little dude is two and a half. Since he started five months ago, no ear infections. And it's not because chiropractic is treating his ear infections, but it's because chiropractic is allowing his body to take that stress away from the upper cervical spine and relax his body into more of a parasympathetic dominant state so he can rest, recharge, heal. And so we're taking care of his body and allowing that plumbing and that drainage to actually happen so he can function properly and not just treating a symptom. And so if this sounds like something that you're dealing with on, an, on a daily basis with your kids and they're, they're just, they're miserable, right? And they have pain and discomfort and we're just, we're going down a path that doesn't feel like we're getting to the root cause of the problem, then I invite you guys to watch our Kick the Sick workshop. So we recorded a couple weeks ago and it's really all about the science and the research and what, how chiropractic is involved with we, what, we, what we call kick the sick kids, where it's ear infections and sinuses and all this clogged upper cervical, um, ears, nose, throat kind of stuff. And so have a great day, guys. Take a look at that information because it's just absolutely eye-opening and really, really great. Um, if you have any questions, let us know and have a great day. Bye.